Hello, I'm Dr. Lynn Webster. I'm Vice President of Scientific Affairs, PRA Health Sciences in Salt Lake City. I'm also past president of the American Academy of Pain Medicine. I want to discuss a new manuscript that we've just had published that talks about buprenorphine naloxone formulations. You know, most patients who are treated for opioid addiction receive some type of agonist therapy. Buprenorphine naloxone formulations are commonly used to treat opioid addiction. Unfortunately, many people who receive these medications develop opioid-induced constipation, or OIC. This can be very disabling. The mechanisms involved that contribute to OIC are complex, and there are probably multiple. But the most common mechanism involved is probably stimulation of the mu receptor within the GI tract or the enteric system. As I say, there are side effects, and unfortunately, here are some of them. Incomplete evacuation, hemorrhoids, abdominal distension, rectal pain and burning pain, bloating, fecal impactions, anorexia, bowel obstruction, and even bowel perforation, nausea and vomiting, and an interference with the drug administration as well as absorption. OIC can have a significant impact on the quality of life. Buprenorphine naloxone formulations are usually administered in a sublingual tablet or buccal film. But this manuscript talks about a new delivery system. This new formulation uses a bilayered, bioerodible mucoadhesive buccal delivery technology. The new technology promotes unidirectional flow across the mucosal membrane, increasing its bioavailability of buprenorphine. The unidirectional flow is due to a backing layer that promotes flow in only the mucosal direction. The presence of OIC decreases when we switch from the traditional tablet and buccal film to the new technology of the bilayered, bioerodible mucoadhesive technology. Buprenorphine is metabolized to several different metabolites, one of which is norbuprenorphine. Norbuprenorphine is considered a pure mu agonist. It's postulated that norbuprenorphine is responsible for OIC in the formulations that have buprenorphine and naloxone. The new technology gets by with about half the same amount of buprenorphine because of that unidirectional flow across the mucosal membrane. To better understand why the rate of constipation might be lower following a switch from the standard sublingual or buccal film of buprenorphine naloxone formulations to this new technology that has a bilayered, bioerodible mucoadhesive delivery system, we want to look at the pharmacokinetics of two different medications that were dosed over a period of time. Here you can see that the buprenorphine levels were similar, but the new technology had one half of the concentration of norbuprenorphine. And this is what we believe may be responsible for the reduction in OIC. The clinical implications of the data I just shared with you can be reflected in this 12-week conversion study from the standard buprenorphine naloxone formulations that are uh, sublingual tablets or uh, buccal films to the new technology of the bilayered, bioerodible mucoadhesive uh, delivery system. In this study, at baseline, 40% roughly of the patients had constipation. After 12 weeks, only 12% of the population complained of OIC. This was approximately a 68% drop in the amount of OIC. This is a dramatic improvement for the people who complained of constipation. Buprenorphine naloxone formulations are very effective in treating opioid addiction, people who are dependent on opioids. Unfortunately, many of them are also experiencing considerable side effects to the medication, particularly constipation. If there's a new formulation that may be able to provide the same degree of efficacy but fewer side effects, it may be worth considering. Thank you for listening to me today. 
I appreciate the opportunity to present my manuscript. I'm Dr. Lynn Webster, Vice President of Scientific Affairs, Salt Lake City, PRA Health Sciences.